Vienna Convention for the Protection of the Ozone Layer 1985, preamble the parties to this convention, aware of the potentially harmful impact on human health and the environment through modification of the ozone layer, recalling the pertinent provisions of the Declaration of the United Nations Conference on the Human Environment, and in particular Principle 21, which provides that states have, in accordance with the Charter of the United Nations and the Principles of International Law, the sovereign right to exploit their own resources pursuant to their own environmental policies, and the responsibility to ensure that activities within their jurisdiction or control do not cause damage to the environment of other states or of areas beyond the limits of national jurisdiction. Taking into account the circumstances and particular requirements of developing countries, mindful of the work and studies proceeding within both international and national organizations and, in particular, of the World Plan of Action on the Ozone Layer of the United Nations Environment Programme. Mindful also of the precautionary measures for the protection of the ozone layer which have already been taken at the national and international levels. Aware that measures to protect the ozone layer from modifications due to human activities require international cooperation and action, and should be based on relevant scientific and technical considerations. Aware also of the need for further research and systematic observations to further develop scientific knowledge of the ozone layer and possible adverse effects resulting from its modification. Determined to protect human health and the environment against adverse effects resulting from modification of the ozone layer. Have agreed as follows. Article 1. Definitions. For the purposes of this convention. 1. The ozone layer means the layer of atmospheric ozone above the planetary boundary layer. 2. Adverse effects means changes in the physical environment or biota, including changes in climate which have significant deleterious effects on human health or on the composition, resilience and productivity of natural and managed ecosystems, or on materials useful to mankind. 3. Alternative technologies or equipment means technologies or equipment the use of which makes it possible to reduce or effectively eliminate emissions of substances which have or are likely to have adverse effects on the ozone layer. 4. Alternative substances means substances which reduce, eliminate or avoid adverse effects on the ozone layer. 5. Parties means, unless the text otherwise indicates, parties to this convention. 6. Regional Economic Integration Organization means an organization constituted by sovereign states of a given region which has competence in respect of matters governed by this convention or its protocols and has been duly authorized, in accordance with its internal procedures, to sign, ratify, accept, approve or accede to the instruments concerned. 7. Protocols means protocols to this convention. Article 2. General Obligations. 1. The parties shall take appropriate measures in accordance with the provisions of this convention and of those protocols in force to which they are party to protect human health and the environment against adverse effects resulting or likely to result from human activities which modify or are likely to modify the ozone layer. 2. To this end the parties shall in accordance with the means at their disposal and their capabilities, a. Cooperate by means of systematic observations, research and information exchange in order to better understand and assess the effects of human activities on the ozone layer and the effects on human health and the environment from modification of the ozone layer. b. Adopt appropriate legislative or administrative measures and cooperate in harmonizing appropriate policies to control, limit, reduce or prevent human activities under their jurisdiction or control should it be found that these activities have or are likely to have adverse effects resulting from modification or likely modification of the ozone layer. c. Cooperate in the formulation of agreed measures, procedures and standards for the implementation of this convention, with a view to the adoption of protocols and annexes. d. Cooperate with competent international bodies to implement effectively this convention and protocols to which they are party. 3. The provisions of this convention shall in no way affect the right of parties to adopt, in accordance with international law, domestic measures additional to those referred to in paragraphs 1 and 2 above, 
nor shall they affect additional domestic measures already taken by a party, provided that these measures are not incompatible with their obligations under this convention. 4. The application of this article shall be based on relevant scientific and technical considerations. Article 3. Research and systematic observations. 1. The parties undertake, as appropriate, to initiate and cooperate in, directly or through competent international bodies, the conduct of research and scientific assessments on a. The physical and chemical processes that may affect the ozone layer. b. The human health and other biological effects deriving from any modifications of the ozone layer, particularly those resulting from changes in ultraviolet solar radiation having biological effects, UVB. c. Climatic effects deriving from any modifications of the ozone layer. d. Effects deriving from any modifications of the ozone layer and any consequent change in UVB radiation on natural and synthetic materials useful to mankind. e. Substance, practices, processes and activities that may affect the ozone layer, and their cumulative effects. f. Alternative substances and technologies g. Related socio-economic matters. And as further elaborated in Annexes 1 and 2. 2. The parties undertake to promote or establish, as appropriate, directly or through competent international bodies and taking fully into account national legislation and relevant ongoing activities at both the national and international levels, joint or complementary programs for systematic observations of the state of the ozone layer and other relevant parameters, as elaborated in Annex I. 3. The parties undertake to cooperate, directly or through competent international bodies, in ensuring the collection, validation and transmission of research and observational data through appropriate world data centers in a regular and timely fashion. Article 4. Cooperation in the legal, scientific and technical fields. 1. The parties shall facilitate and encourage the exchange of scientific, technical, socio-economic, commercial and legal information relevant to this convention as further elaborated in Annex 2. Such information shall be supplied to bodies agreed upon by the parties. Any such body receiving information regarded as confidential by the supplying party shall ensure that such information is not disclosed and shall aggregate it to protect its confidentiality before it is made available to all parties. Article 5. Transmission of Information. The parties shall transmit, through the Secretariat, to the Conference of the Parties established under Article 6, information on the measures adopted by them in implementation of this convention and of protocols to which they are party in such form and at such intervals as the meetings of the parties to the relevant instruments may determine.